Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be continuing my UFC 4 career mode playthrough. And real quick, if you guys enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's go. Alright, so if you guys watched the last episode, you know that I've officially reached GOAT status, which is pretty cool, honestly. And, um, you know, the whole, all last episode, I was talking about how I was getting kind of bored with this career mode because... They didn't let me fight for the second belt and like I'm just fighting the same guys over and over and I even tried to make it more interesting by not training and I still knocked everybody out in the first round so but if you guys watched the last episode you also know that I set a personal goal to reach 40 and 0 and I'm pretty sure my longevity will run out at around 40 and 0 so if not, we'll just retire and end the series on our own. So this may end up being the last episode of the series. We'll see. But um, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, let's see what they offer me next. For Doom. Alright, let's do it. We are not going to train still. Because... Well, we might train for like the one of the last fights. But we're not going to train for most of them. Evolution points, let's see. Let's upgrade this one, this one. This one. Oh, never mind, I'm out. Cool. Alright, let's go to the fight. It's a heavyweight championship fight between Isaac Frost and Fabrici Overdoom. All right, let's see how fast I can knock out Verdun. Well, this heavyweight title has changed hands quite a bit as we get round one underway of this championship fight, but not since this man has held it down. Tonight, looking to defend his title yet again. We'll see if he can keep that trend going here tonight. Nice punch land over the top. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this Should I try and go ground, for an armbar? That is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. That'd be funny if I got a submission win. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Shooting for the takedown here. I feel like even in the last episode, where Doom only wanted to take me down because he knows that I'm too much for him. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Come on, Vidum. Let's still. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Back to the feet. Come on, Vidum. Be a man. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Ah, oh, that's jab. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Come on, bro. Get up. I want to knock you out. All right, the ref is going to step in here. Wasn't seeing enough action. He lets him back up. Liver kick. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the staff guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, take down the tip. All right, all right. Take down the tip and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that Just eat those much shots is so up. impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. He has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. Hands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Come on. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Really? Look how scared he is. Here. Wise choice. Mike Cavallo gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense. You, up, you go down as another thing down the hip line. 
I swear. I've only gone to the second round like a handful of times, and it's because of him being scared. on the judges and big picture I think could set him up for future success in the next round. Come on, Bray Doom, stop being scared, bro. All right, round two. That's a big strike right there. Just misses with the straight right. I mean he's cutting down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Transitions of the judo throw right into All right, I don't know how that will happen, but options. both fighters get up now. Big left hook coming. It's oh! Herb Dean calls for the stand up there. All right, well he's landed some good shots tonight. Oh! I swear, I'm gonna knock this guy out like Peter Yaron knocked out Aljamain if he doesn't get up. Yes, he will. Misses with that. Able to work it into a takedown there. For the feet. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there. Wow! Night, he's done. He's done. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Oh, yeah, and really quick. So it's cool because, hold on. As you can see, I started getting rubies at the top of the, in the center. You can see it right here. And then three more fights gets me to 40 and all, which gets me to 28 title defenses. And I'll get those last three rubies on the side, which like, it's going to be cool because it'll be even, you know? Like I have the two side plates and I have the whole top of the centerpiece belt with rubies. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. Wow, they finally gave me someone I didn't fight before. This is cool. He's actually fighting this week or next week. I don't know. This week or next week. Well, we'll do some sparring since I didn't fight him before. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let Let's it do go. some boxing, boys. Big punch. What a bruise. What a bruise. What a bruise. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. Superman punches. I don't have Superman punches. I only have elbows. Ooh. You wanna hurt me? That is beautiful. You wanna hurt me, bro? Come on, then. Let's go. All right, let's see. Let's do some more sparring. Let's do heavy bag. Bag now. Listen to my callouts. Hey, good job today. You really crushed it out there. Man, 
your next opponent is going to be no match for you. I like, I like how it just only wants me to beat up the bag. Like, I like, I'd rather do that than doing the little combos they make you do. Even though I'm not doing Come too on, good right now. 30 seconds left. Now that's the aggression I want to see in your next fight. Great job. Great job in there. I can all right, let's go to the last week and let's just do some hype now. Prime time interview, post to social media, predict the fight, knockout round one. And yeah, let's go to the fight. Hi to Ivasa. Never fought him before. It is the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World between Isaac Frost and Ty Bam Bam to Ivasa. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Two Dang, years I'm apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a or is similar that just reach. Like the cap All right, now to get us started, um, here's Bruce Buffer. Like created by him, he can only be 45. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, presenting the challenger, Ty Bam Bam to Evasa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 37 wins, no losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iceman.
UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch glove. All right, let's go. Show Tai Tuivasa what he's been missing. Well, this heavyweight title has changed hands quite a bit. Ooh, he opens the door over him. That's my move. But not since this man has held it down. Tonight, looking to defend his title yet again. We'll That's see like if the slowest spinning back this ever. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? Yeah, he's hurt really bad. I'm just lighting he's him up. up. He's hurt bad. Oh! Back and forth we go! Oh, he fires back. I wonder if he has the... You know how he chugs the the beer nice out of his shoe? I wonder that'd be so sick if they had that for his winning oh. animation. But I doubt they have it. Or no. good. I don't think it's broken. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a press. Oh. I mean it's not like he's gonna win. So I guess we won't know, huh? His body was like, wait, Just what? Did we die? He gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and he'll probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, three seconds of the very first round. Going the winner by knockout and still 27 title defenses. I definitely know nobody in the UFC has done that before. Not 27. Brady Estrada beat Robert Whitaker. Yeah, right. DC. All right. Dang, look, everybody's retiring except me. UFC 449. Going down in 2037. That's crazy. Should we do my evolution points? I think we shall. I don't know why I'm upgrading my ground game. Just to, just to be overall good. Oh look, I reached four, um, four and a half stars now. I'm almost five stars. It's a heavyweight championship fight between Isaac Frost and Daniel Cormier. So here we right, go. Let's number go. My 20th thousand billion time knocking out DC. Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Trying to stay in this fight. Good punch, man. Shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. What's a takedown if you can't do nothing with it? That it worked so well. All it is so is wasted early. energy. He blocks the punch. Single collar tie now. Oh, huge hook. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 
So Fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing the gun, just looking at him. Imagine if DC actually still fights until, I mean, technically he retired with quotation marks, but imagine if he came back and he was fighting in 2037, <laughs> he'd be like, what, 50, 60 years old? I mean, how old was Chuck Liddell when he fought Tito Ortiz the third time? In that oh, nice golden job, boy promotion. Hard, and back. I mean, he's not that old, but. Oh, he lands in the level takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. Oh! And just Good night. like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, what a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iceman. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still all right guys one more fight and I am 40 and 0 with 103.83 million dollars in my bank account I really wish I had that for real but whatever Isaac Zavato whatever his name is all right I'll fight you for my 40th win Is this the guy who kept calling me out when I first got to the UFC? Oh no, it was this guy, right? Or... No, 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 it wasn't that guy. I don't know, somebody called me out a thousand. It could have been this guy, actually. I don't know. Alright, let's do these evolution points. I don't know guys, I my longevity keeps getting smaller and smaller, so if anything, I might keep going after 40 and oh. We'll see. Um, let's do this height. Yeah, that's gonna be let's go to the fight. Alright, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Alright, let's knock out this no-name guy. Let's do it. Well, this heavyweight title has changed hands. Whoa! Come on, get up. Kind of like that sword on his arm, though. That's a nice tap, too. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, pin down. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice punch lands over the top. And just misses with that big right hand. 
Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, nice job. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Bad job. Sorry guys, I'm distracted. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to text somebody right now. So I'm like, kind of distracted. But you know what? Look at this. I don't even need to be focused to beat this guy. Give me my 40 and all. Give it to me. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my. I thought I was getting knocked out for a second. I thought I got knocked out. Right where he wants to be. That would have been, would have been awful. Oh, he's got his back. He's to lose my belt to this guy. So then he can try to chase the mission. That's what happens when you get cocky, huh? Humility? Humility? I don't know. The plural for being humble is always a good option, you know? I feel like ever since I won the belt this career mode, I've just been super cocky. Like I've just been whatever. Which you know what? Jesus. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So Jeez. near That's, perfect I almost had like a, on the strike. Almost had a mini heart attack when, when, when uh, I, I saw the animation for me like getting knocked out. Guys to work the like truck. I wasn't this sure was if that was it or not. In terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm Imagine retiring 39 and one. Yeah, that he did suck. everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee. 29 title defenses. Ooh. That'd be cool if I got 30 title defenses. But then it's going to be uneven. Like, then I would have to get 3, 6, 9, 10, 12. I would have to defend it 12 more times to make, to have all the rubies. But I don't think that I have 12 fights left in my longevity. I mean, that is 40 and 0. Should we keep going till my longevity runs out? We can. Or we'll do like three more fights this episode and see where my longevity is at. Honestly, I'm even getting tired of like just knocking people out. <laughs> Look at that shot. Look in the right side of the screen. That's a funny shot. Um, all right, let's go to next week. Let's go to the fight. I mean, all right, coming up next, it is the UFC heavyweight championship of the world between Isaac Frost and Daniel Cormier. So here we go, number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this US. Oh! Is he not even gonna try anymore? Back to the feet. I'm gonna have to go back and look out how much times I beat DC. I swear I'm like eight and zero against DC. We'll see if he postures up and we'll he can do get some like of his three more fights going here. Back to the feet now. Big ball points land. Now let's get back to range. Wow. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. 
All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, we're to get him down. Persistence, age, and that's what we saw with this young man. Oh, boy. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee strike there, interrupted by Cormier. That, was a, that would have been a big that knee and a bigger head kick if that landed. <laughs> oh! Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, yes, now we're going. Oh! Wow! Oh, he put it to sleep. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. It's too funny, guys. It's just too funny. I'm sorry. It's just too easy already. It's just too easy. So the celebration is on. Uh, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eddie Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the under... All right. All right, we'll do two more fights in this episode. Yeah, you guys got to step up your game with the career mode. I mean, I'm so bored with it. I've been bored with it since like the 6th or 5th episode. All right, coming up next, it is the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World between Isaac Frost and Fabricio over Doom. Ready? Right. All right, so here we go. Number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC Heavyweight Championship fight. It could be a quick night at the office. I just we threw like find out. five left it's hooks in a row. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Nice this take is why I hate there. fighting Verdum. Frost gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Spinning back fist is there. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely. Oh! He's a He's hurt bad. Come on, get up. Well, no surprise. Ref not seeing enough action. He steps in and motions the fighter back up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Shooter. Really? He caught me out of mid-air? This isn't... This isn't WWE, Verdum. We don't do things like that. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Back and forth we go here! Look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most of cardio must have in order to secure this many takedowns. Come on. Verdum. Oh, Verdum's has got full mount now. Take the L. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Renoub isn't a great jiu-jitsu guy, though. That's the problem. He's now. now. he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, my. 
my god, for you. Some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing Get him to really control me. the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? You're no so done now. Him. No one to fold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. I get like now. a, that knee might have landed there. big feeling of satisfaction oh, man, when I knock this guy out. Because so this is all he does. And like, now you can on. visibly see some of the damage that has been inflicted by his I'm so glad you got let go from the UFC. He sucks. Look at how he turned he his hip into that leg kick. And they separate. Hey now. Stay down, bro. Okay, get up. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, Verdun's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slow. And they separate. Missed with that attempt. Oh, my God. Mm. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Try to establish that jab. sure if that's the way he drew it up but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the ufc in recent memory i'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so a big big win for him here tonight So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the ufc heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and... Yeah. Am I doing one more fight after this? I don't know. I get one and a half million dollars a show, one and a half million dollars a win. I feel like I feel like that's still like Dana White should be paying me like five million. Cause like if this was McGregor who had like who was actually like forty and O or fifty and O, he'd be paying him like twenty million a show, you know? I mean, look how much Floyd Mayweather makes, but that is also boxing. They have more money, but I mean, come on. See where my longevity is at. We're only at like 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Cause I feel like it's actually going by fast. Like I think I only have like two more fights in me. Maybe. Let's go to the fight. A matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. All right, let's do it. I'm finding some no-name guy again. This UFC heavyweight championship fight. The baddest man on the planet. There he is in the flesh. He has defended like I, his title in the past. And like full on resemble Drago now. Because like all I do is come forward. And like I don't block down. anything pretty we'll see much. If he can keep his championship legacy I just throw power shots. And One, two there by keep Frost. walking forward. Well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the toe. He has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. 
Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Left hook to the head. Big hook. Another left! Oh! Oh, sir! All right, all right, let's go. He needs to start listening to the See ya. That was easy. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there is the All right, guys, I feel like I only have like one, maybe two more fights left. So we're going to just try to see how this goes. Let's try to go 45 and 0. All right, let's do, let's just simulate. Oh, and it's going to like, I think it'll be cool if I get him to five stars, you know, like if I can do my evolution points, so I can get to five stars. Let's see, let's see. Do this. Get rid of this. Oh, how much did those cost? That's all I get? All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC oh, heavyweight Paris. division title. We shall find out in short order. Oh! I swear that overhand has been my He's biggest hurt. weapon. He's hurt bad. Let's end the one two uppercut. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Alright, so he continues to use his jab effectively. Oh. Just like that. You got it. Prestige my left uppercut. Yes, sir. It nice. goes into the books as a first round win by knockout. Near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, and still, the Alright, let's see. Let's take this one. Let's take one more fight. And see what happens. Look at my longevity. It's like almost there. Like I know you should never want your career to be over. I mean, in a way, you know, like it seems like I just want this to be over. But I'm just like over how bland the career mode 
has been since like the fifth episode, you know? Like, I don't want it to be over. It's just like, there's nothing new, you know? So like, what's the point? same thing over and over again there's no interactions like in everybody was saying like how ufc undisputed 3 there was like weigh-ins and actual interactions with the other fighters but you know this game doesn't have any of that All right this very well could be my last fight actually All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk. And Cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeez, I'm 49. Imagine being the, the champ evening. for that long. And when the action begins, our referee I'm almost in charge 50. of the Octagon, Herb Dean. I thought 45 was like the cap for and creative fighters, but I guess not. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, presenting the challenger, Golden. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 44 wins, no losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Man. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, guys. I'm pretty sure this is my last fight. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's go out on a bang. 45 and 0. 32 title defenses. All right, so here we go. Number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC heavyweight championship fight. It could be a quick night at the office. We shall find out in short order. Just misses with that one. All right, good to have you with us tonight as we get round one. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a press. He didn't like that left hand. Power in both hands. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, 
Oh, you wanna throw? Come on, man. Actually, I don't want to get cocky. Imagine if I get knocked out my last fight. I saw that coming. He kept like ducking down. So I was like, boom. Yeah, uppercut. that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blow. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 37 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed... All these created fighters. Oh wait, nope. This is my last fight, I guess. You had one of the greatest careers in the UFC. Your name will forever be mentioned alongside great MMA fighters. Fans will mention your name in endless dream fights for years to come. Sadly, this is it. While you managed to dig deep on fight day, fighting is taking its toll on you. It shows every time you train, this fight is your last. So go on and go. So go have fun out there and do what you do best. Win. Dang. Alright, hold on. This is actually my last fight. We're actually going to spar and we're actually going to pick a good last opponent. So. Nope, not DC. Hopefully we can get somebody good. No, sorry bro. Redoom, nope. I only have one more decline left. So it's either this guy. Rosenstrike. I'll fight Rosenstrike. Alright, we're actually gonna train. Let's do boxing. Alright, so this is gonna be my actual last fight. Good, yes, I love those strikes. Nice 46 combination. and 0. Let's go. Alright. Cool. Fun fact, actually, guys, I've never finished the UFC 4 career mode, so this is like an achievement for me. I mean, not just UFC 4, like, ever since UFC games got made by oh, EA, wow. I've never yeah. finished a career mode That's just because I've gotten about. bored, because it was all repetitive him, all the time. Right? Power. I love it. Let's go. So this is like an achievement for me. Good work with your hands. Oh wait, let's not yes. knock him out because I want to box again. Like, yeah. to fall apart. 20 seconds. Give me all you got. Let's hit his body. Nice job. Nice. You've been good, Falconer. I, like I beat you up good, for clean, crisp punches. how much episodes? Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Oh, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm doing heavy bag. Directions perfect. Great job. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Look how much that look how much more damage Man, I can do. How fast your next it opponent is. Opponent is gonna be no match for you. 
Nice fall. It's funny, like now that it's here, I'm actually a little bit sad. But hey, you know, it was kind of it was super repetitive as you guys saw. Like it just wasn't fun. Let's do sparring. Let's do wrestling. As I was saying, you guys just like you saw how boring it kind of was. Stay, stay, stay. Thank you. Jesus. I was Man, I was stuffing those takedowns and I'm like, come on, no what's going on? For you. you too, Novi Novikov. Novikov. It's been good working with you. Step it up in there. Thank you for letting me beat you up before all my fights. Don't stop now. You got 30 seconds. Even though you always throw strikes nice at me, then I get mad I like and I it. throw strikes at you. And we end up boxing instead of wrestling. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. That was one last goodbye. That one too. Nice work See ya. That was some good control. Alright, let's do some hype. Let's do this. Um post the social. Let's go to week four. Let's simulate week four so we can get some evolution points. I'm gonna do some boxing. Alright, we are gonna end with some jujitsu just so we can uh have time with everybody, you know? As one last training session with everyone. My clock doesn't stop until you Ooh, submit Dixon. it. Were Let's you go. always my jujitsu partner? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's how champions train. I don't have leg lock. Nice work, lock him down. Mounted arm bar. Nice job. Start working on that submission. Good job. Hey. Yes. Submission is close. Hey, submission is close. Keep hey. pushing. Hey. Let's push did I get pace. that or not? I feel like hey. I did get it. Like my bar was practically full. 20 to go. Good start. Arm bar from yes. full guard. Good start. I'm, I don't Keep have enough time. Oh. Hey. All right, kid. Nice roll today. Alright, and that's gonna be it. Let's just do these last evolution points and that's it. Last fight is here. Ah, we didn't get five stars. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> okay, kid. One last time into the breach. It's been a long road. The miles are showing. <laughs> On both of us. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Happens to the very best of them. It's been a privilege working with you all this time. I mean that. And it will also be a privilege coaching you to one last victory inside the octagon. Come on. Here we go. All right. Get your head on straight. Soak it in. Ready? Ready. Let's give him one more show. That was cool. I'm so see now I'm glad that I didn't just call it. Like I would have missed out on that last cutscene. That was well, pretty cool. It's good that I played out the whole the title fight him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally Come making on, this biggie boy. Knock you smile. out He's first round. Time for this. He's not 35 a title defenses. He believes he has the 46 power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out.
Nobody in this arena is sitting down, and why would they be as this champion makes his way to the Octagon for his final career UFC fight? He has the belt, and he would like nothing more than to walk off into retirement as the reigning, defending UFC champion. So few instances in UFC history of a fighter retiring as the champion. That is what's in front of this man here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. 49 years Three old. Three years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 22 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, presenting the challenger, Yazinho, Biggie Boy, Rosenstrike. And now it is the champion, fighting. Out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 45 wins, no losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iceman. I just noticed I might have spelt his name wrong on my videos the whole time. All right, this is like throughout the whole series. They touch him up and we are I didn't realize it was two A's, not two S's. I think I spelled it with two S's for like every episode, but it's okay, I can change it. Alright guys, last fight. Let's touch him up. Touch him up. Oh, he doesn't want to touch him. We already touched up. Still. Let's paint a masterpiece. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And they separate. Come on, biggie boy. Oh! All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Okay, he might be out. And there it is. And just like that, 46 and 0, 35 title defenses. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just Greatest fighter of all time. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, and still the undisputed UFC 
35 title defenses, nice. I really, the only thing I regret is not being able to get that second belt. I mean, I don't know why they didn't let me, but whatever. Let's see. This was your last fight, and while you won't hear the fans cheer your name as you walk out again, you still have all the records, championship, vic and victories in the octagon to think about. You showed up every night, and not only did you succeed, exceed expectations, you set the bar on what being great is. All of the blood, sweat, and tear and time is given to the sport has taken a toll on you, but now it's time to enjoy the fruits of your successes. Enjoy life knowing you are the greatest of all time. Yep, and I'm pretty sure with almost $150 million, we will have a good life. Alright guys, um, looks like that's it. Um, thanks for watching this series. I know it got repetitive um, towards the end or towards the middle, but yeah, it was it was it was still cool to be a tank. And you know, like I said, I I never finished the UFC career mode, so I just had a gaming achievement, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, on that note, that's gonna be it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.